first day. It's Jim Beam Devil's Cut, a deliciously bold bourbon with rich flavor extracted from deep within the barrel wood. A sweet, smooth, full-bodied whiskey with notes of vanilla and oak flavors. To create Jim Beam Devil's Cut, an extraordinary bourbon experience, we developed a proprietary process that actually pulls the rich whiskey trapped inside the barrel's wood after they're emptied. We hold this barrel-treated extract until it develops the proper balance of bourbon notes, then blend it with an extra-aged bourbon and bottle at 90 proof. The result, a robust premium bourbon with deep color, aroma, and character. <sighs> Why? <laughs> this one is going to hurt more than any of them. Now, you may have me pegged as some kind of drunk because I'm always drinking alcoholic beverages on this show. But whiskey is one thing that I've never been able to touch. There are certain things out there that you have to develop a taste for. Things like Gatorade. When you first drink Gatorade, you're like, what the heck is this? But you have to keep drinking and drinking and drinking more until you develop a taste for it. And eventually you're like, oh, this is very refreshing. Things like coffee. Your first coffee is always disgusting. Your first beer is always disgusting. I can see getting used to all of those things. The few times that I've had whiskey in my life has been utter torture. It has been gagging, it has been like coughing, just utter discomfort, and I don't know what to say. And this, Devil's Cut, the name is scary enough, but just the fact that it's the way that they describe it there, that it's, it's pulled from the wood that's inside the barrels. It's like the extra mucky stuff that they, that's been trapped in there. This is so hardcore. 90 proof? This, is, this shit's gonna kill me. There are people out there who are probably like, you are wasting a perfectly good bottle of whiskey. How dare you send it to me instead? I would gladly send this to you, but I, I was given, I was bestowed this as a gift. Thank you, man upstairs, thank you! I guess. It says that there are rich vanilla tones in this. Somehow I doubt I'm gonna taste it, but first let me smell. <gasps> you delight in my torture, do you not? This is going to be horrible. I don't get it. I don't understand how people can develop a taste for this. This is like... Oh my god, even looking at the shot, it's like... It's like unbearable. Good god. Give me some anchovies. Give me some oysters. Give me some skinless sardines in a can. I'll do anything but this, please. Oh! Alright. Maybe I'm not the best judge for this one. Just maybe? I mean... Maybe this whole thing is pointless. Maybe I don't need to do this. Maybe, you know, in order to, to, to faithfully score the taste on a whiskey, you should have like a whiskey connoisseur, somebody who's like used to it. Or maybe, or maybe this will end up being the most delicious thing that I've ever drank. Maybe this whiskey right here will be the one that turns the tide. Maybe. I will finally develop a taste for whiskey because of Devil's Cut! Alright, bottoms up! wrestling boots. You take the insoles out, squeeze the juice out of them, that's what this tastes like. I don't understand. You people are nuts who like this stuff. It's like horrific. And my, I, I hope my, my camera is taping this because I've got like a, a low memory thing popping up on there, but
<sighs> you know what? It's getting easier. I remember my last shot of whiskey was not that bad. It's getting easier. I think maybe if I were to keep drinking this and drinking it and drinking it and drinking it and drinking it, eventually I might develop somewhat of a taste for it. Or maybe Devil's Cut isn't like whiskey at all. Maybe it's like it, its own thing. <sighs> I don't know. Hey, but you know, if you want to give me something har more hardcore than this... Oh, wait. Silly me, in my haste, I forgot to give this a grade. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm like delirious right now. I would give this two stars. I will give it two stars because it is getting easier. It does taste a little bit smoother than the other whiskeys that I've had. I do not notice any vanilla in there. I don't know why they say that there's vanilla tones in here, because that's complete BS. But it's not as undoable as I thought it would be, so that's, that's fine. Fine is a perfect word for this. It's fine. You can, you know, add this to your collection, put it behind your bar or whatever, and it's not offensive. You could do a, a bunch of shots with your friends and be like, okay, it's not going to ruin my whole day. So... Yeah, but if you have any other types of whiskey, maybe like flavorful whiskeys, something that I might like, you know, let me know, because I'm curious. I want to like whiskey. You know, I have a lot of friends who drink whiskey, and, you know, I wish I could be aboard in that club, but, you know, me being an alcohol connoisseur and all, but this is just, I don't get it. I, I, I really don't. Well, this has been another episode of, what, you want me to feed this to Jello? You freaking nuts! What are you, some kind of sadist? Alright, I'm leaving for good this time. This is your good buddy DJ Clive, and until next time, I'll see you in limbo, and... I can't. I just... Whiskey. I can't. I can't! I can't! I can't! I can't. <laughs>